good to be back with you guys. It's been a little bit since I've made a video, and I appreciate you sticking with me and not unsubscribing, and I appreciate you guys very much. Today I want to do something a little bit different, and I want to work on a little bit of kitchen kitchen science here, some of my kitchen alchemy, and um, I, I wanted to make a, today I wanted to make a infused witch hazel. So we're going to take some lavender flowers and then and infuse them into some witch hazel. And, and there are a lot of different ways that you could do that. And um, there, there might be a slow process and a fast process. So today I just wanted to go over the fast process with you. And maybe we'll make another video where we go over the slow version. Basically the slow version would be, would be taking your witch hazel and, and putting it in a jar here. And, and then putting in your putting in your lavender flowers and you would keep this in a warm dark place you maybe on top of the hot water heater with a uh, with a paper bag wrapped on it and you would you would shake this every day and then after after about 1 month after about 4 weeks you would have you know you would have some infused uh, you would have some infused witch hazel with your lavender flowers so today we're going to do the same process but we're going to be using some of our science equipment some some of our alchemy equipment and we're going to be able to do this in a in a very short period of time where instead of it being four weeks it'll be it'll be 40 minutes you know so um, we want to start off with uh to get our materials we want to um we want to get some good witch hazel and and if you look at the back of the bottle of witch hazel when you're shopping it should be 14 percent alcohol and that means that the witch hazel has been distilled at least twice it should be 14 or less percent alcohol. If it's a 20 percent alcohol, then you should go ahead and skip it, skip that store brand, and and go for the higher quality stuff. the The more alcohol, the 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 more damage that, that this will do to your skin, um, because you know, as an astringent, you know, the more alcohol you put on your face, probably not a good thing. So. And um, and you can buy you can buy lavender. Uh, spice is just super cheap. I picked this up from the uh, from the local Hispanic grocery store and it's just you know just like 69 cents and and of course the the best lavender you can get is that 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 you grow yourself. So the, this this summer I grew some lavender here and you can see it, it has a lot nicer color. It has a lot nicer smell than the stuff that you buy at the store. So if at all possible you want to you want to be able to grow and dry your own lavender. But if you can't do that you can most definitely buy the flowers and and we're using just the flowers today because these these have good properties for our skin so we're going to be making a, a tonic for you know acne and and uh, for skin problems and and so this this has a calming effect on the skin that maybe some of the leaves and stuff don't so we want to get started we'll just talk about what kind of equipment that we're going to be using today I've got some magnets here and we've got one of our magnets here in our on our stir plate and these are these are what's going to help facilitate the the stirring here we have a like a magnet grabber you use this and you pick up the magnets from out of the Erlenmeyer flask here we've got a couple measuring cups and here i have some of my flowers all ready to go um, here we've got a flask that we can use to put our our finished product in and we're going to need, also going to need a funnel here today. Here I have my uh, magnetic stir plate. You can see there's a little magnet in there. And this is a 500 milliliter um, Pyrex Erlenmeyer flask. And so when you when you get this bottle of 16 fluid ounces, that's that's about how much you're going to end up with there. So this is a good size, the 500 milliliter. There's our stir plate and our flask with a rubber stopper. And uh, then we, here we have our vacuum pump and, um, and we have our vacuum flask which is attached to our pump. And so before we actually, before we actually add any of our flowers, before we add our lavender flowers to our witch hazel here, we want to just, we want to just get that filter in here a little bit wet. And that will keep a good, that will keep a good seal on our filter. The, the the filters that come with the flask are are just like a uh, just like a coffee filter, but a, a little bit thicker. All right, so now we're ready to start stirring our witch hazel and start adding in some of our flowers. So we we just turn on our stir plate like this. 
just get a real gentle stir going on. And I think makes a really nice funnel when we're, when we're doing this. All right, and then we can turn our stir plate up a little bit. Maybe put the lid on so we don't make any much more of a mess Go ahead and going on here. We'll turn on our stir plate a little bit higher there. And if the magnet uh, gets unstuck, you can you can turn the turn the stir plate off, and then you can turn the stir plate back on, and that will recenter the magnet. Sometimes it's it's called throwing the magnet in. Uh, and the magnet, if you turn it up too high, some of these cheaper magnets, and we, we've got a little bit better magnets over here, but some of these cheaper magnets can get thrown off of the, thrown off of the plate that way. So now that we've got our mixer running, we're just gonna let this run for five or 10 minutes and we'll come back to this and I'll let you guys know how long it took me to, to run this. All right, so we've been stirring our our witch hazel with our flowers in it with our lavender flowers for 15 minutes now on our stir plate and we've got the stir plate set at about half speed so, so for our for our quick batch I think that would be good and and you know that's something that you can experiment with maybe maybe let the magnetic stir run for half an hour or 15 minutes or even let it run overnight and, um, and and then you can experiment with you know how much how much lavender smell that you like in your like in your witch hazel astringent so then now we can go ahead and turn off our stir plate so we've used our vacuum flask and we've got just about all the liquid uh, vacuumed out into our into our flask using our vacuum and um, I, I found it was taking an excruciatingly long time with the with the paper filter that it came with which you can you can see isn't isn't very opaque and this is like about a five micron filter so I switched it over to a just a regular standard flat coffee filter and that was much quicker and I was also able to kind of move the filter around a little bit and and then and if you're using just the coffee filter that would only take about take about 10 minutes to filter so now we can go ahead and turn our pump off and we can pour our material into the jar that we're going to keep it in to store it so I've removed the top from the vacuum flask and and I took the coffee filter and I squeezed every last bit of the witch hazel out down into my down into the top part of the filter and you want to just be careful you know not to get any flowers in your material so now I've disconnected the hose from the vacuum and we'll just go ahead and pour our infused our lavender infused witch hazel into a, a glass container that we can keep it in so we'll just take our funnel and you just want to turn this so that the so that the hose is facing upright, and then we can just pour our pour our lavender flower and infused witch hazel into a glass jar that we can keep it in. This is a really nice um, round bottom flask that my friend Sean gave me, and, and that would be that's an excellent container to keep it in. You really want to use glass, and even with the glass lid, if you can, or a rubber stopper would be okay too. And you you might want to you might want to make some bottles for your friends. So yeah, I've got a little bottle here. This has got some uh, patchouli resin in it. But I've got a little, these little bottles, and you can pick these up like at your local head shop. They're they're usually like a dollar. Um, and and um, I, I take my concoctions here, my my kit, kitchen alchemy, and I I make little labels with a photocopier, and then I just use a glue stick to glue them on. This is some. A bramelin oil that I made uh, just last month and and so I'm working on some different labels and I'm I'm going to make some labels for this and and give some give some little bottles of uh, lavender flower infused uh, witch hazel out and it's a really great astringent it's very calming for your skin and adding the lavender really helps to add some vitamins to your skin especially since the um, witch hazel is 14% alcohol you know so it kind of helps to um, kind of helps with that any discomfort or irritation that you might have from the alcohol can be kind of can be kind of balanced out by that um, 
by those flowers. So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you want to like, share, and subscribe, that'd be great. Thanks for sticking with me. And I got a lot of videos that I'm working on, and I'll have them posted real soon. So thanks again for checking out my video. Peace Profound and LVX.